ISO slash IEC 17025 to 2017 Testing and Calibration Laboratories Recent Changes What is new, what is ISO 17025 to 2017? ISO IEC 17025 to 2017, General Requirements for the Competence of Testing and Calibration Laboratories this standard specifies the general guidelines for the competence, impartiality, and consistent operation of laboratories. ISO 17025-2017 Revision Process In October, 2014 it was adopted. In May 2016 Committee made draft CD1 and CD2. In December 2016 DIS was made. In July 2017 FDIS was released. Total time taken to release the standard, 3 years. Final standard got released on 30th November, 2017, why the standard was revised. Earlier version of ISO slash IEC 17025 was the second edition, which was published in 2005. After that market conditions have changed. The shared aspects among ISO international standards has lead the need for further harmonization among other international documents which are current which contributed to development of the third edition of the standard. It has been developed jointly by ISO and IEC in the Committee on Conformity Assessment, CASCO. The process approach of the document now matches that of newer standards such as ISO 9001, ISO 15189 and ISO IEC 170211, key changes in 17025-2017. Various terms have been updated. Example, definition for laboratory has been included. Guidelines for processes, procedures, documented information, and organizational responsibilities have more flexibility now. A new chapter has been added on risk-based thinking which lead to reduction of the standards prescriptive guidelines and have been replaced by performance-based guidelines. In test report date of issue of report is required. The process approach now matches that of newer standards such as ISO 9001, Quality Management, ISO 15189, Quality of Medical Laboratories and ISO IEC 17021-1, Requirements for Audit and Certification Bodies. The scope now covers all the laboratory activities including calibration, testing, and the sampling associated with subsequent calibration and testing. The revised standard puts the emphasis on the results of the process instead of the detailed description of its tasks and steps. Term outsourcing is replaced by external provision. Certification body has been replaced by the laboratory. New standard have the use of computer systems, electronic records, and the production of electronic results and reports which have modernized the document. A new structure has been adopted to align the standard with the other existing ISO IEC conformity assessment standards such as the ISO IEC 17000 series on conformity assessment. Clause 8 is aligned with ISO 9001-2015. Emphasis on impartiality and confidentiality. Word Quality Manager or Technical Manager is removed, ISO 17025-2005. It had five elements that are scope, normative references, terms, and definitions, management requirements and technical requirements. While in ISO 17025-2017, it has eight elements scope, normative references, terms and definitions, general requirements, resource requirements, process requirements and management system requirements. In ISO 17025-2005, scope included organizations performing tests, calibration. While in ISO 17025-2017, scope is applicable for all organizations performing laboratory activities. 
in ISO 17025-2005. Terms and definitions only reference was present in Akshir. While in ISO 17025-2017, terms and definitions are included in the standard. Five steps for successful transitioning are Step 1. Talk to your accreditation body. Step 2. Get familiar with the new standard. Step 3. Develop transition plan. Step 4. Training and awareness which can be done by attending our training. Step 5. Update QMS to meet new requirements. Thank you for watching and spending your valuable time. For more information feel free to contact us on 0172419128, mobile 9316744482, email at trg at eurotechworld.net.